Hi guys, it's Sarah with Grassroots Evolution, and I am here for a New Year's message for the sign of Gemini for 2021. Guys, keep in mind it's a general message, so take what you feel resonates for you, disregard the rest. Keep an open mind, though, on what this is bringing in. I have no idea what the messages are going to be like. All I know is that I'm being guided to do these for you today. So, it could be something that's really affecting you now, an advice for the coming year, or some kind of advice that you may need through the coming year. So, stow it away, but no no matter what messages do come through, it's still up to you, the choices you make, the steps you take, and, you know, the action you put forward to get whatever fulfillment it is that you would like to see in your worlds. And for me, that's personal power and personal freedom, my friends. For all my subscribers, thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I love you, love you, love you. You guys rock. Thank you for being here. You mean the world to me. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you feel at the end like this has resonated, please feel free and hit subscribe. Join the journey with me and let me encounter your energy more often it would be wonderful to have you along this ride so I'm going to just take a moment to call in spirit before we get into the cards I'm going to ask Archangel Michael and Archangel Gabriel as well as Archangel Metatron to guide guard bless and protect myself this reading and any of you who would ask for it as well as my team of light to use me as the clearest channel possible and as well as to only deliver the messages that are for the highest good of those of us watching as well as the most far-reaching of messages so I'm going to get in here first with a postcard from Spirit Oracle and see just first what messages we have. I'm going to pause you guys. My child is up and I'm going to get that stopped first. All right, I am back. So let's get this postcard from Spirit. This is by Colette Baron Reed and we're going to ask as a message from Spirit as um for the whole New Year's message. So to start it off, these are little channeled postcards from Spirit. So if they strike a chord, sometimes I cry a lot when things resonate with me. That's okay if it happens. Feel it, okay? Let it come, let it go, and use this energy as like empowered vulnerability. It touched you, it touched your soul, why? Right, what was it touching on? And how can you use this information to create positive change in your world going forward day to day? So Spirit, for the sign of Gemini, for 2021, what messages do you have for the New Year's message for Gemini? There's a whole lot. I'm being called to show you this blue one. It's speaking to me. It's calling to me. So let's take that one first and just see what it has to say. So I'm going to show you first the pretty picture on the top. Oh my gosh. It says, you are divine beauty and it is like a peacock. And I feel like this is one of these years where it's saying it's time for you to shine bright. It's time for you to ruffle some feathers, to show your beautiful colors, to remember that you are a divine beauty. You have beautifulness in your heart, in your soul, not just on the exterior. Beauty, in this case, is not necessarily skin deep. So this is also saying, though, if you got it, flaunt it. But don't be afraid by societal standards or belief systems to think that you don't have it. That is a fallacy. I apologize if my cat crawls across the table during this. He's right beside me right now and he seems to be very interested in this. So apologize in advance if you get some cat butt. So let's see what this has to say. Which is hilarious, I think, because when I was shuffling these in the beginning, I believe it was this card that came out. And obviously this is the card that was meant to come out for you guys. So let's see first. We'll maybe get another one just because I think the coincidence is strong here. Dearest you, we're a chatty bunch over here, always talking about how to support you in your life's journey. We communicate to you through the language of oracles, dreams, signs, metaphors, and omens. In your life on earth, however, clarity in, our, in your communication is essential to being understood. You don't speak in symbols, and if you did, you would definitely confuse things. Right now you're facing a situation in which you're being asked to have integrity, be clear, and learn how to ask for your needs to be met. The first step is to admit out loud that we have needs. The second is to ask out loud for, oh yeah, it's again to ask out loud. So this for some of us, maybe the first and the second, to ask out loud and then again to be like, uh, excuse me, um, remember those needs I said I had? Yeah, I still have them. still need them to be met. Hopefully it's not, but the... Okay, the second is to ask out loud. Yeah, the first step is to admit. The second is to ask out loud for them to be met. And the third is to allow the other person, organization, or even us to answer you. When you follow these steps, you can most definitely expect an answer. In your favor? 
affirmative. We say, loving you so very much. Be radiant and shine in your true integrity. And this is important in being clear, being clear with our words, our actions, even our thoughts, right? Because if we're trying to manifest something, but we're not really clear on it, we're not going to manifest something clearly either. And we may not even actually be doing ourselves any good by whatever we do manifest because it's this mixed up mumble jumble stuff. So let's get one other message, please. Spirit for Gemini for 2021 New Year's messages. This year is making sure you ask for help when you need it. My gosh, there's two other ones. So I'm going to take it. I want to show you the card on the top, though. Just the picture is the butterfly here. And this is definitely about transformation. They have two other ones. They have, um, so cherubs with a crown. You are pure joy and with love. Let's read the one with the crown first and see what it has to say. Dear you. Check in occasionally with yourself about your motives behind actions you plan on taking, especially when you have an end game in mind. Is the source of your motivation desire or entitlement? Maybe you're drawn to a certain path because you think that it will bring a feeling related to the outcome you seek, like safety or wholeness. What? Know that you will see a reflection in the outer world of the motive that drives you forward. You Do you need a motive? Can you simply be pulled in the direction your soul calls you towards joy, discovery, growth, or adventure? Participating in something compelling and meaningful without trying to sacrifice it, if you can step forward, surrender to whatever spirit has in store. Come on, Snugs, move, please. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You will be amazed at how things turn out. Check your motives, then hand them over to spirit. Everybody here wants the best for you. So ask for help, right? And when we're asking for things, when we're speaking to spirit, when we're wanting to pay attention to these signs, we ask ourselves first off for the motive, right? Why am I asking this? Why am I needing this? Is something I truly need or is this something like, why am I, right? Just check our motives. Why, how is this benefiting me? The last one we have is now is one of those times you're being asked to add some distance, take a step back, and do nothing but observe. Don't worry about how long it will take to regroup. Just know it's temporary and actually an opportunity to take a breath. Slow down and look at how far you've come. Decisions for the highest good are made when you have clarity, which is what it said in the first one, right? Making sure that we have clarity. which comes from being open to information from both the intellect and the intuition. When you step into the role of observer, it's as if you turn on a switch that allows your soul to be an essential part of the information gathering and decision-making process. In this way, you can add approach. You can approach things from a more neutral and non-judgmental place. I'm all tongue-tied and I apologize, guys. We know you will make the right choice. Trust us when we say now is not the time to get too close to the fray. Step back. You will be glad you did. Love you. So definitely making sure that you're shining by yourself, that you're being yourself. You are being open-minded to how spirit is trying to communicate with you, but you're being clear and you're acting out of integrity. You are moving towards what your soul calls for joy. But this may not mean that we have to step forward now and jump, although... Interestingly enough, too, when I was pre-shuffling everything, the fool jumped out of the news tarot. And I wrote it down on my book because I thought it was important to, remind, to say to you guys and to say, the fool, now's the time. So for some of you, though, now may be the first steps into finally figuring out what you want to do. This could be really important. I also heard in your career for some of you. When you figure out what you want, and you're clear on that, the universe can start making way and getting this, this steps ready for you to do this, but this also means that you're going to have to do it. So for example, many of us, let's use a common one, many of us probably want to eat a little healthier in 2021. Maybe we made one of those promises to ourselves that are going to start Monday because, you know, who really starts eating better on any day but Monday, right? Anything like this. But we can't just say, well, I'm going to be healthier this year and then not eat better, 
right? We can't continue to eat the same old shit or crap, apologies for my language, that we've been eating and then go, well, I'm going to eat healthier and then just keep pushing it back because we're not actually meeting any of our goals. <laughs> my cat's nose is in the picture, so I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to get some messages now from the Muse Tarot. This whole this thing that's saying take a step back, make sure that you're clear. So I feel like that message is for some of you. If you're not clear on where you'd like to go or the direction, I feel like this year, by the end of this year, you're, you will have a little bit more... I almost want to say soul because I'm looking and I'm being guided to the word soul like your soul to be an essential part of the information gathering and decision making process because we are making sure that when we allow our head and our intuition in on things this is connecting onto our true being and who we actually are so if you're not clear on what you'd like to do don't make the move which if you are clear start putting the plans and motions and taking the steps forward that gets you there so spirit what messages do you have today from the Muse Tale? Thank you for Gemini. And I'm not going to read reversals. We get the magician here. What we think what is what we create. And when we put limits on ourselves, we limit our potential. When we don't put limits on ourselves, if we don't limit what we can do, what we can create, what we can manifest, there is infinite possibilities. For many of you as well, this is saying get in tune with cosmic energy, cosmic rays, really tune into the universal energy and use that accordingly. Because if you can see here, coming down through the sky into her crown, it's actually like this cosmic rainbow ray of information coming down through her crown, moving down through her feet. And this is actually the best way that we're going to manifest. This magician is a great magician. They're a great manifester, getting what they desire. And one of the best ways to do this is grounded, connected to spirit, grounded to this earth. And also I feel like it's important. This almost reminds me of a strange bird bath. It's not. But these four colors here too, we have the yellow, green, blue, orange. So your solar plexus, your heart, your voice, so your throat, and your sacral. And being rooted here, the only thing it's not showing to me is the intuition, like your third eye, but this is all just coming down through the crown. And it's already talked in here about using our intuition. So getting clear on what we're trying to manifest. And also, I feel like this is also saying be very, very conscious of the choices that you make, the things you choose to focus on, and... Like, you don't want to counteract yourself. And whatever jump you're making, whatever fool's jump this is, right, whatever thing you start with, we want to have integrity. So this also, I think, is saying, you know, make sure that the way you move forward is with integrity and is clear so that you're not setting up a jumbled unsureness, I guess is the way I had to put it. You have the five of emotions, and there was another card here. So this is the five of hearts. I wanted to show you our cups. So if we look here, she is almost holding the moon to her chest. I feel like there's some stuff too that's not quite clear. There's some things that we, I heard frozen in fear, but we may not want to discuss all the time. Feeling left out in the cold and this frozenness here, there could be emotions that are kind of hard to handle. But this is also stuff that we bottle up and we hide away. The other one here is the tower. There's huge change. And with the lightning, it's quick. It's sudden. But what's important about this, I find, is she's standing on a rock. She's grounded. It's coming down through her, traveling out from her. She's part of this crumbling situation. Yet... The power, and I feel like it's not magnancy, whatever it is, but the power is actually holding these up. There's massive change on your horizon, I feel like, and it's really important to know that it's up to you how you deal with this. So if major changes are happening around you, for some of you, I feel like this is why that card came up that says now is not a time, is because if we're manifesting from a place of frozenness or brokenness or hurt, we're we're not actually manifesting properly because it's not clear. Oftentimes this moon, it represents things that are hidden, things that are unclear. Well, that's this, right? Making sure that we are working through our emotions. And I want to show you as well, 
I don't know if it's a ship or if I'm just seeing something, but through her dress in here, there is something, there is clarity to be found in here. My suggestion is what I heard as well as stillness. Some of you to get this are going to need some meditation time because I think also there may be, for what I'm hearing late too, there may be some thoughts, some ways of thinking that are really changing here as well. And one thing that happens is when you start to see the synchronicities coming to you, like when you know some of it may be number synchronicities like 12, 12, 10, 10, 11, 11, triple threes, triple twos, right? Just um, whatever the the things are, right? Pay attention to what you feel at the time and really trust your intuition on this. For this may be for a lot of us what the change is. And with the five of emotions, depending on where you are, for some of you, 2021, the message it's giving you is on your spiritual journey as things change, as you find your world. Maybe things are crumbling while other things are being built. Not everybody can come with us. Some people have to stay. This is going to be very difficult for some of us. So let's find out about the five of emotions, please. Spirit, what's going on with the five of emotions? Um, I heard frozen in time, too, for some of you. Um, if we are constantly thinking and replaying past situations, it's going to keep us frozen in time and stuck and stagnant in those places. We get the three of emotions here as well, which is often about celebration and joy. And to me, this is also about honoring all cycles, sisterhood, togetherness, and a very, very holy trinity. But also being submerged half in the water of emotions and half in the air so a more balanced connection here and I feel like important to also understand the connection to the parts and the whole and tell me more about this I'm hearing like for some of you spirits had to create a situation of change and to show you what it's like to be without so that when you when you have everything, you recognize it now and you appreciate it. You get the hermit. For some of you, it's time for a vision quest or the desert quest, so to speak. For some of you, it's time to, to really get in touch with yourself and honestly, your soul to lead you in the ways that you need. This idea of clarity is becoming very, very clear. It keeps coming up that clarity has to happen. You have three major arcana already, guys. The Magician, the Tower, and the Hermit. And major changes happening. And this, again, like I said, could be the way you're manifesting. But you need to do this in a way that's true to you and true to you on a seriously soul level, like on a very holistic way, so that you are not creating... Um, a situation where you're constantly saying yes all the time when you should be saying no or you don't want to say yes if you're doing things that hurt your soul to please other people like people pleasing this is one of these things I feel like 2021 come on mr. snuggles is asking you to stop okay so the hermit come on dude oh. the hermit is asking you that right now if you are taking a moment, we are a lot of us, I live in Canada, where I am, we're under lockdown. And if you are under lockdown, find something that you can do that's creative and constructive, rather than maybe feeling like we're missing everybody. Because this, this virus has definitely changed life for many of us, it's changed our social lives, and it's also changed the way that some of us even... Um, how's the way? Well, view ourselves for sure, but I think also like a lot of us are going through a lot more stress and anxiety than maybe ever have because we're we're kind of fighting an invisible thing, right? We can't see it. So for some of you, and I'm hearing like with this, this is because you've been by yourself to try and keep safe. If that's the case, and this is becoming an issue about isolation, they're showing me the bottom, the Ace of Voices, and the Ace of Inspiration. So it's Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands. You also have the Queen of Swords in reverse. And I feel like the Queen of Swords in the reverse there may be thinking, you know what, things haven't been so clear. So this is a lot about focusing on clarity. Focusing on clarity. Getting right with our head to see 
first off, where do our intentions lie? What is important to us? And the wands, too, is this movement. So whatever endeavor it is, whatever the fool energy it is, whatever it is that your soul is calling you to, first, excuse me, we have to get it right with our head as to how we're going to move forward, and then we just need to do. And I was feeling, with this hermit card, I kept feeling vision quest. We have the cactus and the desert here. I was going to bring the Earth Magic Oracle in by Stephen Farmer. And I've been trying to work on my time. So I decided against it. But what I'm seeing here is the card, the desert. And this is also, for me, being able to adapt to circumstances and changes that are happening around you. Because it is, you know, completely different from day to night. And the plants and animals that live there have to rely on different sources of water as well. And things like that, like where nourishment comes. And I think that's why I'm being drawn to this cactus. Is they flower at night, right? Which is important on a whole different level as well because it's saying like you don't always have to be seen to be blooming and to be beautiful so this ace of voices this girl's hair is amazing live in technicolor allow your mind to wander and allow your thoughts to become creative for some of you hearing like you may want to write so i'm going to bring one last message before i part with you this is from the um healing with the angels oracle Wow. <laughs> What's your last piece of advice for 2020 for this New Year's message, please? Definitely getting our, our mind straight with the clarity, this Ace of Swords, right, on how we're going to move. And this is beautiful. It's new beginnings. Focus on the new, not the old, right, and how you can move forward with integrity, with grace, with love, and with joy in your hearts, my friends. That's the message I have for you. I hope you all had a great New Year's. I love you all, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.